Hey there kids, you're Guitar Sage. Today we're going to learn how to play You're Beautiful by James Blunt. I'm looking at my chart here on the screen, so I'm just going to play it through the first time. won't be playing through all of it, but I'll be playing through all the parts, choruses and verses and that sort of thing repeating. So I'm looking at my chart, I'm just going to go ahead and play it through and then we'll talk about the particulars. Chords, chord progression, uh, strumming, um, how to read the chart, all that good stuff. Okay, So here we go, it goes something like this. I don't know the lyrics very well, part of my singing. Here we go. song is those two parts there, kind of like the intro verse and then the chorus. Now there is a bridge part that goes something like this. I forget the lyrics or the melody too, but it goes something like this. about the chords here. We'll slow it down. We'll talk about the rhythm and all that good stuff. So um, you newbies, if there are any newbies out there, can get it. Some of you can just watch what I'm doing here and boom, you're gone. You slap the capo on three and you're off. For those of you that, um, that need a little more help, stick around. We're going to learn this part now. Okay. So um, the other thing I want to talk about before we start is any of the techniques that I'm using here today, if you don't get them, if they're too difficult, check out yourguitarsage.com where I've got a great informative ebook that will really help you with all these techniques. Uh, specifically, how to play these acoustic songs with a capo and reading a chart, and bam, you're gone. A lot of the same chords repeating in these pop songs, pop and rock songs. Um, so check out yourguitarsage.com and uh, get that ebook. It will really help out. Okay? Okay, so here we go. Let's talk about the chords. And we'll talk about the chord progression and all that. So the chords you're going to need for this, and again, if you, if you don't know how to play these chords, that ebook will help you. And also, um, if you need to get a hold of the chart, go to yourguitarsage.com and find out how to do that. Okay, I'm looking at it on my screen. Um, but here are the chords you're going to need to know. A C, a G slash B, which is your regular G chord, but a B in the bass. So I'm muting that sixth string with my finger and bumping, bumping my first finger up against it. An A minor, and an F major 7, which is, here's your F major. I teach this F major a lot for newbies, it's a little bit easier. But the F major 7 is even, even easier. Basically, uh, it's a C, and if you were to hold a C chord, drop your second finger down a string, put your pinky right underneath your ring finger, and play this E string open, then you're going to get this. That's an F major 7 chord. Okay. Now, for the chorus, we will actually have to play a full-on F chord, uh, and a full-on G chord. And in the chorus, I'm sorry, in the bridge, there is a D minor chord. Okay. So, those are all the chords you're going to need for this song. Let's talk about the song construction now, okay? So specifically, we're talking about this first part here, we're talking about the intro, verse, and turnaround, okay? The turnaround is that part of the song that sounds like the intro of the song that's in between the chorus and the verse, 
okay? And it's basically like a little transitional time for us to uh, digest the lyrics of the chorus and everything, just kind of sink us back into the feel of, okay, here we are, second verse type of thing. Okay, so, so this is the intro verse, and, uh, or this is the intro and turnaround, and half of the verse. Okay, so, one measure apiece for these chords. Psalms in four, so it's like one, two, three, four, repeats itself, okay? So the chords C, G slash B, A minor, F major 7, okay? So the intro does that twice. When the verse starts, it's one time through, C, G slash B, A minor, F major 7. But the second time through, it's C, G slash B, and two A minors. chorus, okay? The chorus has split measures, okay? Split measures means that you take two chords and you, and you share the measure, or two or more chords. In this, in this case, um, our split measures split in half, so um, the first part is an F for two beats, which you can play like that, your standard bar chord, or you can come down here, uh, sands that low E string with your thumb, mute it, and uh, bar these two with the first finger. There's your F chord. Play that for two beats. G for two beats. C for a measure. So it's like one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Repeat that again. G part again. One, two, three, four. Now for this, we, he throws in a measure of two. We said the psalm's in four, so like one, two, three, four for each um, for each measure. But there is this little bit where he does the boom, boom, boom. Okay, and that's a measure of two. One, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, it's a little bit strange, but very cool. Um, so. After that third F G combination, you're going to play a C for one beat, one beat, a G slash B for one beat, an A minor for a whole measure, then F for two beats, G for two beats, A minor for a whole measure, and then F and G for two a piece again. Now the turnaround is the next section uh, where they play that melody again, um, and the chords are just the same as the intro: C, G slash B, A minor, F major seven. Okay. Second verse, same as the first. Second chorus, same as the first chorus. Um, then the bridge is going to go something like this. I'm looking at my time. We're running out of time. We have to do this quick. The chords for the bridge are going to go C for a measure, F for two beats, A for two beats, F for two beats, A for two beats, F for two beats, A minor for two beats. If I've been saying A, I mean A minor. Let's do it again. Bridge is C for four beats, F for two beats, A minor for two beats, F for two beats, A minor for two beats, F for two beats, A minor for two beats. D minor for two beats, G for two beats, and it goes into the chorus again. Um, I'm going to play it quickly because there's this, what we call it, what a, um, a uh, repeat or a vamp or a turnaround. Um, it goes, or a tag, I'm sorry, it's called the tag. Um, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. so fast we're running out of time I'm looking hit subscribe sorry 10 minutes are over kids hit subscribe buy the ebook feed the cats you know it helps me okay kids go practice get out of here